Falcon 9 is in startup. And you, as you just heard the call out, Falcon 9 is now in startup, meaning that the flight computers have now taken over the launch countdown. In just a few seconds, we should hear our launch director, or LD, give the final go for launch. LD, go for launch. And the launch director has given the final go to proceed for launch. Let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 56 Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds. Vehicles pitching down range. At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral, Florida in, at 3.31 a.m. Pacific Eastern Time. The next major milestone coming up is max Q, which is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stresses Power and as it descends through the Earth's atmosphere during its flight today. What do you pressures are nominal? Falcon 9 to supersonic. Falcon 9 is now supersonic, meaning it is traveling faster than the speed of sound. And coming up next, we will be hearing the call out for max Q. And there was the call out for max Q, which again is when the vehicle experiences its largest amount of external stresses. And we are about one minute away from a series of events being MECO, stage separation, SCS-1, and then fairing separation. MECO stands for Main Engine Cutoff, which is when all nine Merlin engines will shut down in preparation for stage separation. And during stage separation, the first and second stages will separate from each other. And the first stage will begin its journey back to Earth, while the second stage will light its Merlin vacuum engine to propel our Starlink satellites to their planned orbits. Let's keep an eye out for these events happening in pretty quick succession. And you can expect those to start in about 20 seconds. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And as you just saw and heard over the nets, we had successful MECO, stage step, and SCS-1. We're now coming up on fairing separation for the second from the second stage, just a few seconds. Fairing separation confirmed. Fairing separation has been confirmed. We will be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Bob. Both of the fairing halves that supported today's mission are flight proven with one half flying for its eighth time and the other half flying for its ninth time. Both the first and second stages are following nominal trajectories. And currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. And our MVAC engine, as you can see on your screen, is attached to our second stage and continuing its burn, which will last around another four minutes.
And although we don't have views of the first stage right now, the vehicle is still healthy and successfully making its way back to our landing site. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. And as a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations all around the globe. And as an update for our first stage, it is still performing nominally and still making its way back to our landing site. And a successful return of this booster. Both vehicles on a nominal trajectory. A successful return of this booster again will mark SpaceX's 189th landing to date. And as I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 228th mission overall and the 29th mission just this year. And coming up next in this mission is entry burn on the first stage, which, will, which is the first of two burns it will go through in preparation for landing. And we can begin, expect that entry burn to begin at T plus six minutes. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's the call out for stage one entry burn. And stage one, which we also call the booster, has ignited engines numbers one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric re-entry. And now we finally have first stage views and it's currently making its way back to our landing site. Stage, stage two, one entry burn shutdown. Stage two FTS has saved. You just heard the call out the entry burn on the first stage has completed. And coming up next is our landing burn on the first stage, which will be the second and final burn in preparation for landing. And stage one has one more burn left to land on our drone ship, a shortfall of gravitas. Meanwhile, our second stage is still continuing its first burn and performing nominally. Both vehicles on a nominal trajectory. We can expect our landing burn to begin around T plus eight minutes. Stage one transonic. And once that burn begins, it's gonna last around 20 seconds. Stage one landing burn. And there's confirmation that the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for a touchdown on our drone ship, a shortfall of gravitas. We can now see our drone stage ship. Stage one landing like deploy. Stage one landing is confirmed. And this Falcon 9 first stage has now successfully launched and landed stage for the seventh rockets. time. We are now coming up on second engine cutoff. Expected loss of signal cable. And back shut down.